This is an haptic feedback, it vibrates the controller to make you feel that you are touching an object. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use it with the Unity XR Toolkit. We are going to see how to tweak the duration and the intensity and trigger it when you are interacting with an object. Of course, this video is made possible by the awesome folks on my Patreon. So if like them you want to have access to the source code of this project and exclusive content, join us, link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to better illustrate how to use haptic feedback with the Unity XR Toolkit, I'm going to use where I was left with my latest Unity XR Toolkit series. Now, of course, you don't need to redo it uh, from the start to make haptic feedback, but this will be useful for me to show you some example. And the first example that I want to show you is using haptic with the interactor component. So let's head over to the XR origin, select one of our interactor, let's say the right hand, and as you can see, in the XR Direct Interactor, we have the haptic events. And using this, we can super easily trigger some haptic feedback when we interact with an object. So let's say you want to trigger haptic when you grab an object. We can enable here the on select entered and then choose an intensity and a duration for the haptic. In my case, I'm going to set it to 0 0.7 and a duration of 0 0.3, but now, if we save and click on play. When I grab an object with my right hand, I get an haptic feedback, awesome. And of course, haptic feedback is not that much visible, but anyway, believe me, it is working. Now, there is a problem using this method. First, thinning haptic with interactor means that the haptic will always happen for all objects and will always be the same. Secondly, as you can see, there are no events here when we activate. So this means that if I want to trigger some haptic feedback when I shoot with the gun over there. So to answer all of these questions, I'm going to show you how to trigger haptic feedback, but this time writing our own component. Are you ready? So let's first uncheck the haptic event that we just added and get started. For this example, I'm going to trigger haptic feedback when we shoot a bullet with this gun. So let's select this pistol, of course, click on add component let's call this component haptic interactable and open it to trigger haptic feedback by code it's really simple we first need to write at the top using unity engine.xr.interaction.toolkit and then add two variables a public float called intensity and another one called duration now, little tips, the intensity needs to range from 0 and 1, so a cool thing that we can do in that case is write at the top, range 0, 1. This way, if we save our script and go back to Unity, as you can see, the parameter is now a slider that goes from 0 to 1. And now, if we go back to our script, I'm going to create a new function call trigger haptic with public void in front, of course. And this function will need a XR based controller that I can name controller. And now we can simply trigger an haptic feedback on the given controller if the intensity is greater than zero with controller sent haptic impulse, the intensity and the duration. Perfect. Now we got everything ready, so what's left is to trigger this when the interactable is activated. So for this, in the start function, let's get the interactable with XR base interactable interactable equals get component of type XR base interactable. And finally do interactable.activated.add listener. But as you can see, we now have something a bit annoying. You see the activated add listener needs a function that has for input a uh, type, something that is different than the XR based controller that we made for our haptic function. So to fix this, I'm going to create another function of the same name. So trigger haptic that will take as an input something that the activated ad listener will like. So in our case, base interaction event args call event args. And now to convert this into a XR based controller for the other haptic function, I will first make sure that the interactor is of type controller interactor with if event args dot interactor object is XR based controller interactor controller interactor. And if it's the case to trigger haptic and feed it the controller from the controller interactor. So controller interactor dot XR controller and perfect. Now, as simple as this is, we can simply write this trigger haptic function on the activated dot add listener. There you go. 
Perfect. Now let's save our script and go back to Unity. What's left is to test this and see if the controller vibrates on the corresponding end when I shoot a bullet with the gun. Of course, we can set the intensity and the duration of the haptic feedback in the Unity Inspector. And now let's click on play to try this. And there it is guys, it is working. When I shoot, I get a little vibration on the hand, but for now, we have made our script only use haptic feedback on this object when we activate it. But what if I told you that we can do the same for the other interaction type as well in just a few seconds? Let me show you. The secret is to turn the haptic behavior that we just made into its own class. So the intensity, the duration, and the trigger haptics function here, Let's go at the top, write public class, any name we want, so haptic for example. Cut and paste there everything related to the haptic, so basically everything that is not the start function. There you go. And now that we turn this into its own class, we can reference it as a variable in the haptic interactable script. So if I do public haptic, haptic on activated, it should show in the Unity editor, but for this, we have one remaining step to do, and it's to write at the top here, system.serializable. Now we can use this parameter in the start function as well with haptic on activated.trigger haptic. And if we head back to Unity, as you can see now, we can see our haptic class as its own parameter in the editor. This is awesome and we can edit as before the intensity and the duration. But the best thing now is that if we go back to our script, we can create one haptic for each type of interaction. So let's do public haptic haptic over entered, public haptic haptic over exited. The same for selected now. So haptic select entered, haptic select exited, and give them their proper add listener in the start function. So let's copy and paste this line four times. And now write the corresponding event, but for the corresponding haptic each time. There you go, and now there it is, we have finished with our script, we can save and go back to Unity, and as you can see now, we can save for each interaction the haptic that we want, so let's add another one uh, for when we over enter, for example, with uh, 0.3 intensity and 0.3 duration, and another one when it grabs, so in the select, uh, entered with 0.5 intensity this time, and a uh, 0.3 duration, why not? And for the other two, the intensity is at zero, so it will basically not play anything. Now, if I click on play, everything is perfect and everything is working well. We have made our own haptic interactable component. And anyway, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. The source code is on my Patreon if you want to learn more about VR development and support my work here on this YouTube channel. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.